Good morning. How are you? Very well, thanks. Now, can we can we start by just I don't know going back a, a little bit, perhaps, and talking about how you first got into boxing? Because it, you know, obviously there are a lot of female boxers around, I suppose, but it's still it's still perhaps not a not a the huge mainstream thing that I suppose certainly male boxing is. No, no. I mean, especially in Australia. I mean, it was when I first started, there was well, not many women at all. Um, mm. So I initially started to get fit. Um, to get in shape and, and also to, to discipline myself. I think I was going on the wrong track in life and um, I needed something that will challenge me physically and mentally. Um, so when I first started training, I fell in love with it and I wanted to have a go at hmm. fighting and from then on I got addicted. So Right. Yeah. That, I mean, that's interesting because certainly in recent years, boxing as a uh, as a fa- as a fitness activity, I suppose, seems to have really gone gone bonkers, doesn't it, to some degree? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely has. I mean, look, I train at Burn Boxing um, and Fitness in in Craigieburn, and the amount of people that come in for a boxing class or lessons, and um, you know, a lot of the women as well. I mean, it's the best way to get fit. It's a bit. It's the quickest way to lose weight. Um, not only that, if you have a stressful day at work, you come in and punch the bags. It's the best <laughs> way to get it out. Yeah. Better than road rage and stuff. So that's very true. I mean, yeah. So it works in 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 so many good ways. I mean, kids coming in as well, and they get disciplined, and mm. you know, it's. It's a very good sport. Yeah, I imagine it's still a pretty pretty big leap though for a lot of people to to go from that thing of doing it for fitness and maybe you know punching a bag to say, well, I'm going to take on a real opponent in the ring and and you know and and do a proper a proper match. Yeah, yeah. Look, it, it, it's it's a little bit different, obviously. You know, um, there are people who come in and train and they just want to have a go at sparring. Um, and they don't mind doing a little bit of that. But when it comes to the competition size of things, obviously it's a lot more, um, you know, a lot more training is involved. Um, mm. You know, a lot, you know, there's, you know, the dieting sides of things, you know, you've got competition coming up. It's, it's a lot of, it's more strict and, and obviously the training's a lot harder as well. And it's, So having made that decision to, to take that on then some, some time ago, I, I gather you've had a pretty good career there. You've only lost two fights. Is that right? Yes, yes, I've had 25 professional fights and I've lost two from the same girl. Right. <laughs> and it was in Mexico both times, so... Uh-huh. So is Mexico a bit of a, well, I don't know, a bit of a hotspot for um, for female boxing or is it, is it a, you know, I mean, can you, where else has it taken you, for example? Has it taken you around the world? Look, there's, um, you know, there's hotspots in, in Europe, um, in America and Mexico as well. It's pretty big. So I just, um, I just had those two opportunities to fight Yasma Rivers in Mexico so um, mm. it's definitely a great experience, um, and it's great fighting overseas, and you learn a lot as well. So yeah, indeed. I, I suppose for a lot of people, we see the you know the, the the injuries and so on that come out of boxing as well, and I guess that's what puts people a lot of people off taking that next step. But how, how's that played out for you so far? I think it's just the way um, people. So I think it's just more. It's how you've been trained, I think. It's, it's Boxing's not about getting in there and brawling like you're at a pub having a fight. So mm. it's, you know, you're learning how to defend yourself as well and, and learning the skill of boxing, the art of boxing, rather than going out brawling. I think, look, I've played soccer before and I found that I got more injuries playing soccer than, than I did in boxing. Right, like yeah. I'm <laughs> but, you know, so far it's been good. Like, I haven't had any major injuries apart from, like, a couple of black eyes. Um so nothing major, and I think there are, there are fights out there that you know people may brawl and um, they they get hurt, and people see that and get put off by it. But once they get in there and learn the actual art of boxing, it's a different scenario. Mm. How do you cope with crowds as well? Because I suppose uh, once again, there's that cliche, you know, in every movie where there's a boxing ring, you know, the crowd's always going wild. I don't know. Is that, is that what really happens? And is it if it is, is it something you can? Do you just have to tune out of that and just concentrate on what you're doing? <laughs> yeah, it does happen. Um, and obviously, if you're fighting at home, you've always got your home crowd cheering for you. So that always gives you that extra boost. You do have to sort of like um, zone into what, you know, your job, what, you, you know, what you've got to do. And obviously, your team in your corner. Um, but the, the crowd, it's, it's exciting having a, a good crowd. Um, when I fought in Mexico, obviously, the crowd were... Um, Know, cheering for the opponent and were booing me, but <laughs> after the end of the fight, I had my hands out and you know everyone was just 
cheering for me and taking photos, so that was awesome. It was right. an awesome feeling. So <laughs> even though I lost the fight, it was you know, the crowds. It's, it's, it's great to have a good crowd. So and I'm I'm excited to fight in Warrnambool because you know it's pretty much okay. It's not at home in Melbourne, but it's still so it's in in Australia. So you mm. know it's it's going to be a good crowd. Right. Yeah. Now your opponent uh, on Saturday night is a boxer from Thailand. I understand. Yes, that's correct. Yep. How, I mean, do you do a lot of research into your opponents before you before you step in the ring, or do you just I don't know? Does, does it help to know a great deal about who you're fighting? Yeah, you know, I mean, every fight is different. Some like to do so much research. I just like I just do a little bit of research. I'll probably watch my opponent maybe fight once or twice, but usually I leave that all up to my team and my trainer Dave Hall, who does all of that work, you know, that side of things, and concentrates on what he needs to work on with me and. I just need to focus on myself and what I need to do. So, mm. um, you know, of course, and what my trainer tells me. Yeah. I've yeah. seen this fight described as a bit of a, a restart for your career as well. Is that how you're viewing it tomorrow uh, on, on Saturday night? Yeah. Like, I've never announced a retirement or anything. I mean, look, I, I'm grateful for achieving, you know, so much in such a short matter of time with the IBS title and WBC title. Um, but then I, once, after I won the WBC title, I mean, I thought this is, Wow, you know the world is mine. The doors will be open. You know, will open for opportunities. So, unfortunately, I've had troubles getting opponents after that. So, right. yeah. So it's I was still training, and I had fights sort of, um, you know, booked in, but then fall through and and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. And then I got that chance to rematch Rivers in Mexico, and that was about eighteen months ago. And I didn't win that fight, unfortunately. So when I got back, it was hard. It was at, it was a hard place as well, mm. not knowing exactly what I wanted to do if I wanted to continue. And and yeah, I just said, look, I'm not going to give up. Um, you know, I want to continue and and um, you know go for another title again. You know, just at least one more time, get another world title. So well, thanks to Lyndon Hosking, who's doing some. You know, he's he started promoting in Bendigo and now in Warrnambool, mm. and he's you know, putting some girls on the show and there's three women, female fight, fights on the show, which is first time that's, you know, that's ever happened on a promotion and and getting back into it, it, it feels to me like a sort of a comeback, but not really because I've always been training and I've just been waiting for that fight to come through and it finally has. So, right, yeah. And it's pretty much restarting again. <laughs> right. Well, look, best of luck then for uh, for Saturday night. And then I think it's your birthday on Sunday, so hopefully you'll have a lot to celebrate. <laughs> yes, yes, definitely. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me on.